hamstring strain. So first test is straight leg rise test. Normally, when right keeping knee extension position, right when knee extended position, when we do hip flexion, right, it will be 90 degree actually. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Relax. Okay. So only 90 degree possible. If hamstring strain, it will not be possible 90 degree. Only less than 80 degree is possible. Understand? But when you flex the knee, when you flex the knee, then when you flex the hip, there is a 120 degree of reflection. Understand? Yes. When you flex knee, then if you flex the hip, more degree. But when you extend the knee, then when you do hip flexion, it is only 90 degree. Why? Active stretch and passive stretch. Active stretch and passive stretch. What do you mean active stretch, passive stretch? This time, what is happening? What is the what is the reason not? What is the reason not going? Passive stretch. Shortening. Which one shortening? Hip flexion. Hip flexion. Hamstring what shortening? Hamstring shortening. Contraction. No, no. Elongating, lengthening. See, already lengthened here. Here we are lengthening. Right? See now, lengthen here, lengthen here. What is wrong? Yes. See, lengthening here, lengthening here. So two, yeah, two joint muscle. Lengthening both the joint is called what? Yes. No, no, no. I'm missing one. Quadriceps. Yes. Maafi quadriceps. Rectus femoris. So, if a two joint muscle lengthening both the joint is called passive insufficiency. Yes. A two joint muscle shortening both the side that is called active insufficiency. But now I, when I flex the knee, so hamstring relaxed in the knee joint, so I can do more range. But when I do when I do extension of the extension in the knee, hamstring lengthened here already. So now I am lengthening in the hip joint. So two joints lengthening definitely less movement. That's why 90 degree. Understand? Yes. So straight leg raise test. Do this. Patient in supine position, give pillow, other leg is resting in nice correct position, then physiotherapist should do passive straight leg rise, right? At that time, normally 80 to 90 degree will be there. If less than 80 to 90 degree, indicate number one test. Number two, prone. <laughs> So the second resisted knee flexion because knee flexion is produced by hamstring muscle. Okay, I will talk only video. Okay, knee flexion is produced uh, by hamstring muscle. So, if any injury to the hamstring muscle, right, what happens? This flexion movement with the resistance will be load to the hamstring muscle. So, by that, the patient cannot produce uh, a grade five knee flexion movement. So, it will be weak movement, or maybe only grade three, or less than grade three, or maybe four, but definitely not grade five. See here. So we have to ask the patient to bend, okay? Please bend your knee. But when you bend, I will resist your knee, okay? okay. Movement. Okay, please bend, 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 bend. So when we bend, yes, there will be a pain or weak movement, okay? Then number three for hamstring, this is not there, but when I upload, it will be uploaded. A high sitting, high sitting position, edgeless. <laughs> Leg down. So when sitting like this, right, when I do knee extension, passive knee extension will not be possible. 
When I sit like this, patient sitting like this, passive knee extension also is not possible. It will be restricted. So complete zero degree extension not possible. The extension limit will be there or less will be there. 20 degree extension limit will be there. Or more than 20 degree extension limit will be there. So that also indicate hamstring strain. Okay? You go, Subha. You go. Finish. Next model. Hadi.